What up, squad? Y'all know what time it is. It's time for episode four of Cooking with Nitro Online. Today, I'm going to show y'all how I make my chicken, broccoli, and rice. Beast mode has been activated. It's day five of eating some delicious chicken, broccoli, and rice. So I figured I'd give y'all a, t- a show, let y'all see how I make my chicken, broccoli, and rice. So if you ever want to start eating right for a month or a week or something like that, just make this meal repeatedly. Work out, protein shakes, and heavy weights. This is how you do it. Let's go. All right, so first, we're going to go over some simple things that you need. Got a five pound bag of chicken breast from Walmart. Some chicken breast, and you got your veggies. I like to get the special blend, even though it's chicken, broccoli, and rice. You can't go wrong with uh, with some veggies, so get a special blend. You need to have more veggies. The more veggies, the better. Then you got your brown rice. Okay, and then I also add onions, celery, and so I read a red onion, a brown onion, and celery to this mix. And then you got your, this is your main stuff that you need. That's a pretty simple stuff to get down. Then you want your seasonings, your flavor. I got some sazon, love sazon. A little bit of soy sauce, okay? A little bit of Worcestershire sauce. A little bit of pepper. And Red's Hot Buffalo sauce, okay? Bow, bow, bow. This is how it's going down. All right, so watch, here's how it goes. Okay, so one of the things I forgot to say is olive oil. So first thing I'm doing is making my rice. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of, uh, so I'm, I'm using a rice cooker. Uh, if you don't have a rice cooker, you can just cook it on the, you cook the rice on a regular stove, All right? You feel me? So I'll put a little bit of olive oil in here. Okay, just a little bit. Then we're gonna put a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. I love saying that. All right, right, just a little bit. Then we're gonna put a little bit of soy sauce. All right, just a little bit. Okay, then we're gonna put a little bit of pepper. Uh, there's no salt I'm using in this uh, in this recipe, so you don't need salt. Okay. So it looks like that. And you're going to close it up and let it cook. All right. All right, so that's the rice after you put all the ingredients in it. And then you're just gonna let that cook. And that's the first thing you wanna do because it takes the longest for the rice to cook. So you wanna get this started first. Okay, so a couple of things. I'm just getting my lid. I got my lids ready. So you wanna put the chicken inside of a pot and then you wanna put a little bit of water in there, not too much. Same thing with your veggies. After you cut up your onions, your celery, your um, your two onions, your celery, and you have your veggies all in there, you're gonna mix all that stuff up, but you wanna put a little bit of water in there, just average drinking water. If you got bottled water, you can put that. Then you want to put the rest of your seasoning. So I want to put some. Start with a little bit of uh, soy sauce, just a little layer of it on the chicken. Same thing with the veggies, a little layer. Okay, not too fancy. Then we're gonna go with the olive oil. Olive oil is very important in your uh, in your chicken because it's gonna help. It's gonna help you cook the um, cook the last sauce. So make sure you put a generous amount of olive oil in there. Olive oil is healthy for you. Put some olive oil inside your veggies too. Yeah, olive oil is very important. I don't know if my mic was covered when I said that, but that's why we put olive oil in there. All right, so next we're gonna put uh, some sazon. One pack of sazon. Right in here. All right, all this chicken is gonna get cut up, so don't worry about the um, the sauce being evenly spread around. We also want to put a little sazon inside the veggies. All this stuff that we're doing is strictly for flavor. Um, we don't we don't want a uh, plain chicken, broccoli and rice because you got to eat it every day if you want to, you know, if you want to chase those gains. You got to eat this a multitude of times. So you want to tweak it so that it's so that it's better for you, you know, so that it's the way you like it. All right, then we're gonna throw some pepper in here. Just a little layer of pepper because it is going to get mixed up. Okay, same with your veggies. All right, and Worcestershire sauce. Put a little bit of that in there. Okay, same in there. And then the last ingredient, we're gonna put some Red's Hot Buffalo Wing Sauce in here. So when when we're just getting started, we're gonna put a little bit, so I'll show you. Just 
cover that one, put a little bit on that one, put a little bit on that one, okay. All right, now we're gonna cover the chicken up. All right, we're gonna cover the veggies up. Put the heat on low. Actually put it on medium. Um, if you don't have a lid for both, try to have a lid for your veggies because you want those to steam. Uh, and this one's cooking and you got your rice cooking and we are good to go. I'll be back in a minute to show you guys when your chicken starts to look like this. Obviously, I turn my heat up a little bit so it can cook a little bit faster. And once your chicken starts to look like this, it's submerged in the sauce that you put in there. It's time to take it out and start cutting it up. Chicken is ready to be sliced up. So we're just going to do that right now. All right. This is one of the parts that take the longest. I want to because I always make sure that my uh, my chicken is sliced up right. Sure. Sure, these two. I bring the pot right next to me because as soon as I slice these, they're going right back into that same pot with that juice that they had in there. You know what I'm saying? Slice them up in a nice healthy chunks, but not too big because the more chicken you cut up, the more of the inside of the chicken is going to get to uh, have that flavor on it. So you want as much of the chicken diced up as you can get it. Um, not into tiny little shreds, but into nice little chunks so that every little chunk is flavored up. Because remember, you're going to be eating this meal. Well, I'm going to be eating this meal for a month. So I want to make it taste good every time I make it, right? So you got your diced up chicken, about those sizes, about those sizes. Okay. Um, normally when I'm making this for myself, I would only use, I could use just like one chicken breast. Um, and then I'd be good. I'm making a kind of a bigger meal here, so I'm just making a little bit more. Um, and the good thing about it is, when you're making chicken, broccoli, and rice, everybody wanna, everybody wanna taste it. You know, it's good, it's, it's healthy food. You know, as far as the basic meal is concerned, um, all the extra seasoning and flavor that we put in it, that that makes it not as healthy as just eating plain chicken, broccoli, and rice. But at the same time, who the hell wants to eat just plain chicken, broccoli, and rice for a month? Not me. So, if you can stick to a, a, a delicious meal then that's better than not being able to stick to one meal and all at all, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm just gonna cut this up. I wanted to take that time and just talk a little bit. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the Cooking with Nitro uh, episodes. I'm trying to think about which episode is coming next, but um, I'll just give it some time. It'll just come naturally uh, when I'm deciding to make something. I'll put it on the, I'll put it on the channel for you guys, but I want my, my most important meals up there and they are all ready. All right, so we cut that bad boy up. All right. All right, so now once you cut up your once you cut up your chicken, you're gonna get something that looks like this. Uh, you see it? You're gonna get something that looks like this with the uh, sauce and everything. You're gonna cook this chicken until all this sauce evaporates. All right, so I'm gonna show you what that looks like. All right, so you just finished cutting up your chicken. You're gonna let this cook again turn that heat back up but while the veggies are cooking they're almost done that's nothing but sazon and a little bit of season there gonna put a little bit of the red hot sauce in your veggies okay not too much though just a little bit because it's gonna soak into the veggies and it's gonna give it some good flavor okay so mix that up you want all your sauce to evaporate inside your veggies and you want all your sauce to evaporate inside your chicken all right, so I'm not gonna mix that sauce. I'm not gonna mix these veggies anymore. I'm just gonna let them cook with the lid. And then over here, I'm gonna use this spoon now for my chicken and it's not gonna go back to my veggies. Um, this sauce is all gonna evaporate. So now at this point, you do not wanna put a lid over the chicken, right? You wanna turn this up high and you want it to cook and you want all this sauce to evaporate and you wanna be standing around while it's evaporating because the olive oil is gonna basically fry the chicken up for you uh, after all this stuff evaporates and when it's evaporating it's getting cooked into the meat So get a big pot like this one so you can uh, so when it pops it hits the side of the pot and not splashes everywhere And uh, I'll show you what it looks like in a minute All right, so as you can see the the veggies are just about done. They got a little reddish color to it It's not that much sauce in here left So we're just gonna let these cook uh, We're gonna leave the lid off of it now so the rest of the steam can actually get out and not be falling back into the food So we're gonna leave this lid off our chicken oops our chicken is down to the last bit, so now it's uh, basically just frying. So I got it turned up because I'm gonna watch it as the rest of the sauce, uh, you know, evaporates. All that last sauce is gonna be cooked onto the meat, onto the chicken. So you just gotta be patient with it. 
mix it around a lot because you don't want it to burn. And then as the sauce starts to disappear, this is your final your final chicken that you're gonna have. I didn't pour no chicken out of this. It's been about 11 minutes that it's been cooking uh, on high since I cut it up so that all the sauce can evaporate. The, the last stuff that's in there, you see it's kind of thick. It's the hot sauce, it's the um, olive oil, and some of the other sauces just cooking onto the meat. All right, so I'm gonna do this for about another probably 10 minutes, maybe five or seven minutes. And then the rest of the sauce should be gone and I'll come back on it and uh, show you guys what it looks like. Now that the uh, chicken is getting down, uh, it's been cooking for a while, there's no more There's no more sauce in the, in the chicken. All you can see is the uh, olive oil, see it? That's just olive oil. All the rest of the stuff has already cooked into the meat, right? So we've just been letting it cook. And I was gonna cook for another, about another five, maybe 10 minutes, because now I want it to get a little bit crispy. You know, we want it to have some crispy edges and the olive oil at the bottom that's what's going to cook it and give it the little crispiness to it instead of having uh so that your chicken is not soggy and stuff like that you want it to be have some some cooked edges you know what i mean so you'll see the cooked edges um you know i'm gonna let it cook for a little bit longer and i'll come through and show you guys the cooked edges but right now it's almost the last part you're almost done with your chicken only thing that's in there is your olive oil and that's going to give you your crispiness that you want so be back in a minute keep staring keep staring don't be lazy with the fat with the uh with the sauteed chicken, y'all. All right, so you start to see your chicken get uh, crispy edges like this, and it's just about done. See, there's no more olive oil, there's, no, there's barely no more olive oil. All the chicken is getting crispy edges around it. This is the kind of, this is this is the way you want your chicken inside your chicken broth and rice. Okay, you got it, but you have to be patient because it takes a little while. Like, I've been, I've been cooking this for 18 minutes, so, you know, it's finally the way I want it. It looks perfect, nice crispy edges. And I'll show you guys the final plate in a second. Um, broccoli been done. The chicken just finished. Oh man, this is perfect. So make sure you do it just like this. Cook it until there's basically nothing left in the pot. You start seeing the crispiness of your chicken. You can see that? All right, then it's done. And I'll show you guys the final plate in a second. Now we make our final plate. I'm gonna start with some of this rice. I'll cook that right, brown rice. Okay. Put your rice down. I put my rice down. All right, so you put your rice down, and you want to make it like a little hole in the middle, right? Like a little hole in the middle of your rice. You know what I'm saying? Put a little rice on that thing. Rice is important, you know? There we go, especially that brown rice. Get your wheat in there. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our veggies. Because the veggies are done. I'm going to put this over here. Oop. Get out some of these veggies. Going right on our plate. Some in there. And just push that down. All right. Some veggies. All right. And this way. Final. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? This is how you do it. Every single time. It's always going to come out this bomb if you follow these directions and make it how I made it. All right? And there you have it. Bomb ass chicken, broccoli, and rice. See that? Cooked to perfection, guys. I can eat this meal every single day, and that's exactly what I do. Chicken, broccoli, and rice, y'all. This is the recipe. Your healthy alternative to, uh, to tacos and uh, party wings. <laughs> all right, enjoy, guys. Let me know if you try it out. Uh, share, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys on the next episode of Cooking with Nitro Online.